doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, you'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with a man whose go-to solutions to problems has been to kill them away. Remember what you promised Joe. Anna will not be safe where you're going. You can't bring Nick back, but you can still save yourself and Anna. Breathe. Focus. Think it through. Declan's already killed two people. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. Stop it! I'm not doing anything. Other than trying to save your life. You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just... just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. stop it. Sam, Sam, Sam stop. There's a turret. Stop. stop. Sam, stop. Stop. Stop the car. Sam, are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need. I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here! I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! No! Losing control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? Not freak out. You've been through this before. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. The question is, where does it lead? I wish there'd been another way. There you are. You and I need to talk. What? What's happening? Sam. That's how you'll get through this. I'm losing control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills and stares at the TV like a lot.
least I'm not being chased this time. Right? Wonder what's in store for me now. Square one. I'm always starting from the same position and looking at the same door. Maybe it's not about which door I go through so much as which door I choose. Make a choice and stick to it. You need to put it together, Sam. Always tackle a problem head on. Of course. There's no running away from it. Looking up everyone's lives. That's a real talent. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. I don't need that right now. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? 
When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. No. I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Sam, come with me! What? Which one are you? Sam! 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 Sam, where are you? Sam? Sam, Sam, where are you? Sam? 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 Where Sam? Are you? Sam, where are you? Sam? 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 Sam, we can do this. Sam, where are you? Sam, you and me, Sam, we can do this. You and me, Sam, we can do this. You and me, Sam, we can do this. just like that not even an explanation you're leaving town just like that not even an explanation for an old friend everyone in town is making my life miserable and no one trusts me I gotta go uh, I see yeah you do do you He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I... I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. Don't leave me, Lee. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. Explain yourself to her, or try to, as best you can. She deserves that. Promise her that you'll be back. 
She'll like that. Hey, Bug. I'm gonna come back. Sooner rather than later. You'll see me again before you even know it. We'll go fishing. Yeah, sure. I'm not stupid, you know. It's not up to me. I'd stay with you if I could. I'm... Sorry. Forgive me, please. Why are you lying? I know you want to leave. What happened to you, Mealy? I hope you never come back. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault! I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. Sam, put that away. Come on. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just... I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? I know you don't want to talk about him, but he's your son. I know the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. They just want to put useless labels on There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. Consider what the one teacher mentioned. He 
doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on them. They're not remedial. Your program's meant to help him with his social skills. It could be good for him. But my son is not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. I'm ready. coming here. You know? You might have done some real good with Joan. Though you wouldn't let Anna back in. I don't blame you. That's hard. I'm doing my best with what I have. It's been a bumpy ride, but you showed promise, and that's good enough for me. I'm sure if we keep at it, we'll make a fine and upstanding citizen of you yet. We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. Stop. I get it. I'm nervous. What if you make the wrong choice? Can I make a wrong choice? That's one I don't really have an answer for. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind but seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. 
It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. I sacrificed so much effort just to make myself miserable. I've had enough. You just have to care more about the people around you and less about everything else. I oh, know. I'm ready. It's not gonna be easy, but you and I, we're gonna get there, together. Anna probably went off after what Dickie left up here. You can't let her be out there alone. I know, but it needed to be taken care of. I concur. Hurry, Sam. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. What are you thinking, Sam? You can't just leave Anna here alone. What are you thinking, Sam? You can't just leave Anna here alone. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. You really scared me there. I know. I had a bit of a panic attack. I'm really sorry I put us in danger. But that's over now. I'm in the here and now, 100%. All right. Glad to have you. I'm hoping this is the end of all this. One way or another. So much darkness, so fast. Nick. Dennis. I'm ready to see it end. It's probably time we find those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. You were here for the same reason. Now all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think.
Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You always seem to care about this town. Its history, its people. Why do this? I care more about this town than anyone. I've spent my whole life protecting it. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Anna's gonna try something. Declan. Think about what you're doing. Is this what you want? You killed Nick. You killed Dennis. You're running the drug ring in Basswood. If only you could have left it at that. But you had to poke around again. Now I have two witnesses to deal with, thanks to you. This is bad. Be careful. Every word will count from now on. You have to lower his guard long enough for you and Anna to gain the upper hand. It's gonna be hard, but remember, I'm with you. Every word of the way. Tell me exactly why I shouldn't kill both of you right here. Because it's not what you want. The sooner you understand it, the better. I've changed my opinion of you, Sammy. You're not that clever. You still can't keep your mouth shut when you should. Look, I don't want to do this, but I promise, it ain't personal. Don't delude yourself. Nothing is more personal than this, and you won't do it. What makes you think that? Seen into my soul? You have to tell him exactly what he wants to hear. You and me, we can do this. He wants things to stay as they were, to cover up the whole story. If he thinks you'll get in his way, he won't hesitate to pull that trigger. You're not some psycho killer, Declan. You're in over your head. I doubt you ever intended to kill anyone. Dickie's still alive. You could have killed him, and you didn't. You're still a cop. You still care about this town. Maybe you're right, Sam. Maybe deep down I don't want to hurt anyone. Or maybe I just still had a use for Dickie, and I was just thinking of paying him a visit as soon as I got the goods. You seem to think you can just walk away. Go ahead. Tell me how that happens. Take the proof Dickie stole and let us go. We won't tell anyone. You know where our family and friends live, after all. And that would be enough to keep you from talking. Why should I trust you? You're you. You care about stories, not people. You published that article and sank the whole town, leaving saps like me to clean it up. If I let you go, who's to say it won't be the same thing all over again? Well, this was all very entertaining. But I'm done chatting. Give me that evidence, Anna. Here. I hope you choke on it. It all comes down to this, Sam. 
Anna's about to jump him. Keep his attention on you. People will figure it out eventually, Declan. Well, you won't be around to find out. No, you don't! Anna! woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Anna? Can you hear me? I need you to stay with me. I need you to... This is one funeral I can't avoid. Sam, you got a moment? I hope you know you've got my honest sympathies. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, I wanted to tell you, we found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. Dickie's statement also corroborates your testimony. No charges are going to be filed against you. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. She's worried about her re-election chances as sheriff. She's playing cleanup for the whole police force right now. Before you answer, just remember, it's always nice to have a police chief as a friend. It wasn't your fault. No one saw it coming. I still would have trusted him with my life. He was serious, dedicated. Looking back, maybe obsessed. That's a rot that grows deep under the floorboards. I didn't see it either. What happened isn't on you. Thanks, officer. Bess, hon. I've known you too long for you to call me anything else. Anyway, I guess I've kept you long enough. I'll let you go now. Look after yourself, Sam. Just remember, this funeral isn't about you, or even Anna. It's about everyone. Us mourners sharing catharsis. I could use some of that today. Listen, empathize, express yourself. Let them see she mattered to you. Don't be afraid and you'll be fine. It's been a rough week. Yes, it has. Maybe the roughest I have ever seen. And I've lived almost twice as long as you. He's completely lost faith in himself. First Nick, 
Now Anna, and he's convinced he could have prevented Nick's death if he had only listened. He doesn't want to retire so much as he thinks he should retire. Walter, don't blame yourself for what happened. None of this was your fault. You can't let it get to you. And honestly, what would the Basswood Jungle be without its famous chief editor? How did you... Is it that obvious? Well, I did think about retiring, yes. But maybe the ship still needs its captain. I could go for another journey. Thank you for the kind words, Sam. It means a lot, it really does. What about you? Did you have time to consider... what comes next? I'm not planning to stay in town. Nothing for me here anymore. Hard to blame you. As for me, I may stay around a bit longer than I was expecting. I don't think you'll ever leave, Walter. Well, it's like you said. Sometimes you need to ride until you can't anymore. Basswood is my town, the jungle is my home. And you'll always be welcome at both. After all, it might be time for you to settle down. Life is short and fleeting, like the sunset. If you pay attention, it can be beautiful. If you don't, it's gone before you even know it happened. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Make sure to look after yourself, Samuel. Same to you. I'm sorry you got mixed up in all this. I know how you feel. I miss her so much. I wish I hadn't given Anna such a hard time before. She didn't want to be a stepmother and well, I didn't want to be a stepdaughter. Now, I don't know. I'll never know if it could have been okay. I shouldn't have told you about my dad. You had to tell someone. I'm just glad you trusted me. I know, Muley. I always knew you'd listen. Even when I was mad at you. <laughs> I told you it was a mistake to indulge her back at the pub. Well, I officially admit that I was wrong, and now I can see why. It just... If I hadn't said anything, this wouldn't have happened to Anna. But I was so mad about my dad. So mad that I couldn't even cry. Well, I couldn't until now. Until I finally knew what happened. And that makes me feel selfish. Like, all of this happened because of me. Come here. So, it's not my fault? Of course not. You didn't make Declan do those bad things. But... but... Uh... But nothing. It's not your fault. Sam. Of course, she just walks off. I don't know how to reach that girl. It was hard before, but now... She's completely shut me out. She's still trying to make sense of all that's happened. She's been through a lot. Maybe Basswood just isn't the right place for her anymore. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, I'm not here to judge. I just want to help. I know, I know. Sorry. I've just been dealing with so much lately. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Now, Sam, we need to be really careful about this. Kathy's already on edge. Joan noticed her mom is overdoing the painkillers, but we can't just kick the door down and confront her directly. Kathy, 
Joan is distant because she feels you haven't been yourself lately. She told me at times it's like you don't see her. It's nothing against her. I've just been working myself ragged, and I hurt my back, and... She said it wasn't just that. She's noticed the pills. It's the only way I can deal with my back, and it helps with... with other things. Look, I can't imagine how hard it is to raise a child by yourself, but I don't want to see Joan grow apart from the last parent she has. Oh, God. I... I... I didn't realize it got that bad. You're right. I need to get help. Sam, could I... Could I count on you to help look after Joan every now and then? She needs the people she loves close to her right now. I'd love to. I get along better with her than most adults. I just... I thought I could do this alone. I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you. And if you ever need something, know your family. I need to talk to my daughter. Hey, I'm real sorry about Anna. Joe, I'm... I'm he sorry. He promised. He promised you'd keep her safe. He's got a lot of rage in him. It's tearing him up. Maybe just let him take it out on you. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. She's dead, and I'm still here. Old. Broken. Why didn't you kill that bastard sooner? Why'd you let him take my little girl? Should've... Have... My little girl... My little girl, I'm sorry. I just, I know you did all you could. I'm, I'm glad she wasn't alone. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. He needs to know the people who hurt his daughter have been punished. He needs to hear from you that all of this is over. It's over. The man who hurt your daughter and Nick is gone. No one got away with anything. That's the only thing that comforts me. You know, she never regretted having you in her life. She'd want you to know that. Anna... <laughs> Anna was... She was... Words. You spend your whole life devoted to them. Yet they fail you when you need them most. I miss her. I miss her. And, uh... And I don't think I have anything else. 
You should say something. Let people know you're grieving with them. You don't have to suffer alone. They're here for you, and you're here for them. It's a lot of weight to speak about someone who's gone. How do you start? Anna had a heart bigger than this whole town. We all managed to fit in there. It didn't matter where you came from, what you did, she still cared about you. There's going to be a lot less heart in this town without her. Anna always wanted to make sure people's voices would be heard. She used her platform to elevate those left behind, those hurting in silence. And she wouldn't stop until they got the justice and respect they deserved. She was braver than me, than anyone I ever met. She never ran from a fight. Basswood honors Anna just by existing, standing together through the hard times. And there are always more hard times than good. That's just how the world is. But standing, united as a community, that's how we honor her. Goodbye, Anna. You'll be missed. Strong words. Strong words. <laughs> She'd have loved that. Well said.